I wish I brought my toes with me, man. Another day in Bastard, guys, and of course, another daba for breakfast. I need my fix of aloo paratha and, and chai, so let's do it. This is how I start off every morning when I'm carrying around. We go and find some paratha, we go and find some tea, and we just chill out together. And I'm lucky that in here in Chhattisgarh, I know Chintamani Jaipuri. We've known each other for a, for a few weeks now. And um, yeah, so I got to come here, and we're touring around the Basta region together. My friends are really surprised at how fast I eat. I eat really, really fast. Like, they're still going, they still got half their parate left, but I finished, and I've washed my hand, and now I'm waiting for my two cups of chai. <laughs> they're so small here, the cups are tiny, so I need two. Check out where we are guys, Hunger National Park. And like I said, Chhattisgarh has so many national parks here. I think there's like, there's 10 or so national parks here in Chhattisgarh. It's known for its national parks. We got our tickets. It is 50 rupees for Indians and 150 rupees for foreigners to get access into this park. Now, if I shut up for a minute, can you guys hear that? It is so peaceful here. Oi! Don't blow your horn. Wow. As soon as I arrived here, I just... Yeah, I got happy. So this is how famous my friend is here in Chhattisgarh. He's very famous. Maybe Chhattisgarh's most popular YouTuber. Actually, all day we were like talking about your vlogs and coming yeah, and see what we found. There's two viewpoints for this waterfall. We're up top now. Can you see how high we are, guys? We are so high. Wow. And you can hear that water, nah? Amazing. This guy's having a bath in the waterfall. Not sure that's the best place to have a bath, but how's that sound? We're actually, we're right in the jungle now. We're walking down to the bottom of the waterfall here and We've seen a lot of tribal people here. People live in this jungle. They call the Arivasi people. And they live very organically, very purely. It's a, it's a beautiful way to live. And yeah, they, they survive off the forest, basically, the tribal people here in Chhattisgarh. And if you Google Arivasi people and search for news, you will see that they're having some struggles at the moment. So go and check them out, okay? All right, guys, we are gonna go in. Look how flooded it is, though. It is super flooded, so the walkways are all gone. There's people actually bathing in under the waterfall right now. It's crazy. Let's do this. We're gonna make it, we're gonna go. We're gonna try not to slip. Look at this water we have to cross. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Do it. You go first. I'm yes, gonna follow yes, you, yes. man. Ah, yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of stones in the water here. You can feel the water from the waterfall hitting us right now. It's so refreshing. I probably don't need to tell you this, but. There is a whirlpool inside here. The current is so strong that if you jump in, you're just gonna get sucked under and drown. Okay, so yeah, never swim here, right? That spray hitting my head. <laughs> I can't see anything. Awesome. It's basically like an adventure ride at like an adventure park, like Universal Studios or something. Ah, it's good fun, man. And we're getting so much spray because it's monsoon time. This is the best time to visit this area. You've got a temple right up to the top here. A shrine to Lord Ram. Now 
guys, this is a better experience than Chitrakot, India's largest waterfall here. Because you get to experience this water, right? You get to experience the waterfall. You get to literally walk through it, bathe in it. So you guys can go and see Chitrakot, but then make sure you come here to Tirat Ghar, okay? Don't miss this. Rainbow. Guys, when you're doing this, hold the rail, okay? It's very slippery. I've slipped twice already. And don't vlog. <laughs> So there's about three waterfalls here at Tirat Kod, okay? So it is like, if you get one or two hours you can spend here, it's beautiful. It's one of the most stunning places I've ever been to in India, actually, this area. This waterfall in particular, what a fun time, man. Sister Mani is doing his blessings here, respecting Lord Ram here, because he has a very special connection to Lord Ram, I think. Yes. Tell us what happened last time. Hindi may diga. पिछली बार जब मैं आया था यहाँ तीरथगढ़ वाटरफॉल में जब मैं मेडिटेशन पे बैठा था तो मेडिटेशन के दौरान मेरे मन में एक ख्याल आया कि मैं अपना मांसाहार मतलब नॉनवेज त्याग दूँ तो यहाँ से मैंने पिछले महीने अपना मांसाहार त्यागा था और ऐसी मान्यता है कि इस जगह पे श्री राम जी वनवास के समय आए थे उनके पवित्र कदम पड़े थे यहाँ पर so that's how they use nature to, you know, they live in harmony, but they wash their clothes there instead of having a washing machine and using power, okay? They do things very simply and very naturally, okay? Now at this very bottom waterfall, you can actually get underneath it if you're crazy. I don't have a deaf wish, so I'm not going to go so close, right? I'm fully soaked, man. I'm soaked from top to bottom. Oh God. Okay guys, there's way more than three waterfalls, I lied. It just keeps going and going and going. We got another one here. And even more out here. Just go very carefully, it's very, very slippery here. These are more of the tribal people behind me here, the tribal woman. What a day so far, guys. There's nothing like doing this and exploring Chhattisgarh with your friends. I feel really, really blessed to know Chintamani J40. Really, really blessed. Now, let's end here and let's go get a bit dry, have some food and see where the day takes us. The rest of the day takes us here. And that was a big walk back up, but right now we are going to come in here and we are going to try Chhattisgarhi Vara. It's kind of like South Indian Vara, but a little different. Let me show you. So today I'm having lunch with Disha. Do not tell Manisha, my wife. And now check this out. This is Vara. Take. Let's give it a go now. We got a chutney here. And these are freshly fried chalama. Wow. Mm. This is very different to South Indian vada. How could I compare? It's better than South Indian vada. Sorry, guys. This is the best. Chattisgaria sable bariana. Like I said in another vlog, we're in a Naxalite area. So there are checkpoints around the place. This is the first time we've come across, though, actually. So, yeah, I, I don't know. How many of these do you have? Are there many checkpoints like this? No, all the checkpoints are like, uh, Only one checkpoint. Acha. So when you're going between districts, I guess, now, then you're going to have a checkpoint like this. So, I have one more. One, or one two more. more. Okay. It's just because there's next lights in this area. And I'm, I talked about them in the last video where we went to uh, the massive, the largest waterfall in India. Chitrakot. And so basically you just have to register with the army. Where are you going? Where did you come from? Your car, number plate and your name and keeping a log of who's coming in and out of these areas in case they're looking for somebody or they need to look up the records later. So it's fine. Yeah.